Part in our Changing the Game series this week, we've been asking, who's the next Zynga? Well, a British outfit called Mind Candy might be the answer. MindCandyMoshiMonster.com is an incredible 50 million registered users. It adds a new member every second. But it's not just a game, it's an online social network for kids. Think of Facebook for the under 12-year-old set. Uh, kids pick the monsters they want to be, then pick the pets they can take care of. So the adoption of these pets, the birdies, fishies, fluffies, dinos, ninjas, warties, foodies, ponies, puppies, kittens, and spookies, is driving Mind Candy to be one of the most powerful emerging brands in technology. The CEO Michael Acton Smith joins us from Los Angeles. Michael, the growth of your business is pretty amazing. Is this like catching a tiger by the tail? Yeah, it's been a, a bit of a crazy journey. We launched in 2008 and uh, grew steadily at the start through word of mouth. And in 2009, it just caught fire and uh, we hit our tipping point. And now we're at about uh, 50 million registered users. So it's, uh, it's been a wild, wild ride. <laughs> uh, what have you done to drive that business? Are, are, you, are you pushing to try to stay profitable so you can go in other areas? Or are you just trying to make this really big and reap the profits later? So, um, you know, the, the business has grown incredibly rapidly through word of mouth. Uh, we built a, a great product that kids love, and they share it with their friends, and they talk about it at school. And uh, so that's, that's driven most of the growth. We did start to do some marketing, so that helps supplement it. But we're very proud that our organic traffic is, is the key driver. And uh, the business has been profitable. We became cash flow positive a couple of months after launching our subscription service. So it's, uh, yeah, very cash generative. You're clearly not in Silicon Valley. That's very uh, uh, un uh, gauche of you. Uh, uh, talk to me about the size of the business in terms of revenues. I've seen numbers saying it could be as much as a $100 million run rate. Yeah, so no, it's actually um, the gross retail value of all Moshi Monsters re related product this year will be about $100 million. So subscription revenue is our primary income, but we've recently started doing licensing deals. So uh, we've got a magazine, a series of books, trading cards. Uh, we're chatting about doing a film and a live tour and uh, building an entertainment brand more than just uh, a website. Now, uh, we have an analyst who's been helping us work on this story. Um, uh, story Lehrer is, in fact, someone who's been uh, covering your company for quite a while. Let me run the tape of a question Story's got for you. How will the introduction of physical goods market affect your gross margins? Goodness, I, I've never been asked about gross margins by a 10-year-old. Um, <laughs> we should probably hire her to work in our finance department. Um, I think she's already so got a summer a job, but please. Uh, oh, okay. Next year, maybe. So, um, yeah, gross margin is very high for the subscription business, um, but our licensing and our physical products are not being manufactured by ourselves. We work with partners, so we get royalty checks. So that is extremely high gross margin. So uh, it hasn't really affected us. Interesting. Our story's got another question as well. Let's hear that piece of tape. I have a few things from eBay, like this book and figure. But I was wondering when Mushy Monsters will come to the USA. So we've launched our physical products in the UK uh, just before Christmas last year and have a pretty big range of, of toys and books and magazines. And uh, we're going to be launching in the US in August. So uh, we're, uh, we're very, very excited to be here. And the full range will be launching throughout the rest of the year. Michael, let me ask you about the, the business in terms of uh, making it safe, making a safe online place for children such that parents can trust that it's okay for their kids to be online uh, doing this Moshi Monster stuff. What do you do? How do you police it? And how difficult is that? Yeah, it's a very, very important question. We take our responsibilities extremely seriously, looking after 50 million children. So we use uh, a range of, of tools. We have an expert uh, team of moderators. Uh, we use software to track uh, messaging. There's no private messaging on the site, so everything is seen publicly. And, you know, parents know their kids love the web. They want to spend time online. And far better that they do it in a walled garden that's deliberately designed for under 13-year-olds like Moshi than for them to roam the open web on Facebook or other sites. All right, so you've got a business doing over $100 million in annual revenues. You've free cash flow positive. You're making a profit as well. Um, why don't you sell this business or why don't you take it public? <laughs> Well, um, yeah, we've had a lot of knocks on our doors, uh, a lot of acquisition interest, but, 
you know what, I'm loving it. I'm having the time of my life building this business. And I, I think we're right at the start of building one of the most exciting new entertainment companies for this digital generation of kids. You know, with a website at the heart, with all these other experiences and platforms orbiting it. So I think it's too early. Um, I think it's too early to sell. And uh, I'd personally prefer to, to go public. But I, I think we've got a bit of all a right. way to go before we get to that stage. All right. Michael Acton-Smith, Mind Candy, thanks for joining us. John?